One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, back with you showing you the rest of this W126 One Owner 560 SEL. And I'm in a different light here. I'm going to kind of go down the sides and show you just how straight she is. There's a few little dings like I showed you before here. Now I'm showing you with a different camera too. And it's just a lot easier for me to get more of the trunk in there. A couple dings in the trunk there. I might not have touched them exactly. They're right there and there that I see them. A little bit of striping coming on the window. Not a lot. Showed you that clear coat. I'll show you in a different lighting. And I also seen a ding in the hood right there later. And that's pretty much what I know of on this car. It ain't just tip top, but it's straight and shiny and beautiful as can be. It's got that look. Beautiful car. And that's the deal. Okay, so this is all about the interior. And I'm going to do the interior review. Show you all that. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Um, interior is in great shape in this car. I really enjoy a one and two owner car like this. That somebody's paid to take care of and all that good stuff. Door panels are in great shape. I'm going to actually... Yeah, key has to be on in this year. Hang on a sec. So you're gonna have to listen to me and stuff like that. Driver's seat does not switch in this one. So you got a bad switch or something. You know, I almost guarantee you it is the switch. Um, I don't know a lot about this. SS200 radar. Um, go ahead and show you windows while we're here. That one's not loving it. Switch or a regulator? Probably, or I mean, switch or a motor, because I don't hear no clicking. Um, danger sign. I don't know what that's for. The antenna button definitely does not work. I don't know what that is. I never have. I need to read a manual, huh? Speaking of such, I thought I had all the manuals on this. What kind of stuff disappears on me an awful lot. Mirror works fine. In and out. And the only thing is, is that switch, I think the clips in there are kind of broken. Um, and the up and down is not wanting to work on it. This one of course works fine. It's manual adjust. There I am. I don't come with the car. AC is pretty darn cold, but it's pretty darn cold outside. I'm just gonna disclose that is not working. Um, I thought there was a certain stand on your head and touch your toe and hit on while you're pushing automatic and it worked or something to that effect. I don't know. We'll just say it don't work, but how's that? And like, it's so weird, once you put it in gear, that alternator wind just goes away. After about 10 seconds. And if you want these, check the ad. I don't know if I'm gonna throw them in. They were expensive items and I had a guy wanting to buy them from me and I might just sell them to him. Heated seats in the rear. Very rare option. Plus the rear reclining. And there it goes out or down, whatever you want to call it. Got it reclines a long ways too. And here it goes back up. Probably first time that's been done in a long time. A little tear there, as you can see, where it happens along these seams. Part of the medical kit is in here. They didn't get it on the right side, did they? 
the um, door panels are in great shape. Hang on a sec here. Sometimes these trunks are hard to get while you're holding the camera. The good shape, all the weather stripping is just as close to fresh as it gets. Um, the foam under here is in great shape. Something spilled on this carpet or something. It was w right in there. And it was wadded up over in the corner. So it's a little off. Um, the back of that fill out of its grooves there, as you can see. You've got the nice tire and all. Good spare, is what I'm trying to say. Third light! That could have been first year on this here car. I'm not 100% on that. I don't know 100% everything on these. The back seats don't even look like they've ever been set in. A little loose on this piece of wood right there. Stress marks right there, not ripped through, but kind of fold over. A couple starting right in here. The carpets are in great shape. This piece is lifted up on this side a little bit. A couple stress cracks starting, a couple stains on that little piece of carpet. Armrest works fine. A little crack in the dash there and right there as well. Oh, we're going to go ahead. Open that up for you. Light not coming on on this side. There we go. They get, um, they're never opened up. It turns off and turns on just fine. The little button in there thing was just stuck. A little separation going on there like they get. Actually, these parts are in great shape there and are holding them up nicely. Got the middle one as well there. That's what I mean by a little lifter noise. Nothing too bad, but just a slight amount. Let me close this down. Speaking. I want to make sure you can hear me too. It's in great shape under the hood. Just beautiful. I'll get you close-ups of all this as well. And I'm just trying to show everything as thoroughly as I can. Look at the gaskets in there, man. Just clean as can be. And this piece is popped up off here. As you can see, it's not clipped back down in there correctly. It took a wow. Probably off this. It probably slid down to the side and took a wow. What's a wow? Well, I'll tell you. And you heard another click in there? It's this. Fan shroud. Um, this was taped off. This one was not. Um, phew, beautiful. Not a hundred percent perfect. And this here is just stuff that comes from that. You know, I hate to tear it off because it's in such great shape. It's very brittle along the edges. I was going to just slice it and leave it, but I left it. It's all up to you. Do with it what you will. Okay, that's about all I can show you. My name's Nathan. It has been retrofitted to R134A. 406 544 6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. That's your W126 560 SEL 1986 model. Getting hard to find these cars in this clean shape. Um, I've seen these with almost half a million miles on them. That's a lot! Um, also, wanted to show you from the outside. 
and take a picture so I can put it in the ad. But yes, the sunroof works. So, and that's the thing when you get a, ooh, one of your orange ambers are out. When you get a car like this and somebody um, maintains it and takes care of things, a one owner car like this, somebody paid, you know, I don't know what, 60 grand, 70 grand for this car back in 1986? That's a lot of money. That's all there is to say about it. Um, well, that's your walk around, run around, show around. You've seen it all. Um, the other thing I was going to see that I didn't show you is this. I showed you the other seat. I did not show you this side. And I'm prouder of this side. It's quick too, huh? I think maybe just the back's working there. I'm pushing down on the front. You know what? These only go down in the back. They don't go down in the front in this year. That's right. Fast as can be. And... Are they manual in this year? Hang on. I don't know, I hear it clicking. If they weren't manual, that button's not working. Memory on passenger and driver. I hear that clicking too on this one, but it ain't reclining. So, it's in a nice position to where you're sitting nice. I'll tell you that much. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com, beaglespocket.com for all your miniature pocket beagles, graycongo.com for the coolest Grey Congo Amazon parrot in the world, import, export, I will ship this car to any port in the world, just let me know. I think that's all I'm going to show you on it that there is to show. Nathan, 406 544 6919, you can reach me anytime. And yes, I have, I've done my job here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and oneownercarguy.com.